All right, y'all, so something super exciting happened today. We got out. We got to do a nice explore in a part of Davie County that I've never been in. We live really close to there, and just I've never driven down these roads. I was completely lost. Found a very nice little area with some really cool history, and I, I stopped by this old church. The, the graveyard was phenomenal. The church itself, um, I'm pretty sure it used to be a school building. In a little bit in the video, I'm going to do some research, and I'll be letting you know what all I found out about that church. Also, there's a house out there that there was an older man sitting out there um, on the front porch of a, a little trailer um, where I was taking pictures, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go talk to him because your girl here, she ain't shy. So anyway, he let me walk around the outside of the house and have a good look at it. It was not safe to go into in any way, shape, or form. But it was very, very nice to get to check it out. And here's some of the history to the house, so you will get to hear that too. Cool area. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, ring that bell for so much more. And for those of you who don't know, I have a keto channel where I have lost over 153 pounds. I'm still going. And if you're interested in weight loss, check that channel out. The It's in the description below. Now, let's uh, explore, y'all. Ain't little old church out in the country. Let's show it to you. Ain't that beautiful? There's a big birdie flying over my head. Check it out. I don't really know where I'm at, to be honest with you. I just kind of started cutting down side roads and back roads. And I've been driving for a little while. But that is cute. A lot of times, old buildings like this, little church building-like things, would have also been used for little schoolhouses. So there is every chance that this is old enough to be not only a small church, but a school as well. And connected to it is another small brick church, so it's probably the newer building. But ain't that lovely? I just, I, I love stuff like this. I wonder if I can find any information. I'm going to walk up here and take a picture of this sign real fast. So after looking it up online, that little church seems to be actually called, or originally was called, the Zion Chapel Methodist Church. And, uh, Here's some more information on it. This online. It says Zion Chapel Methodist Church, and that seems to be what the place is called. The meeting house was built in 1780, Zion Chapel in 1837, the frame building in 1890, and the present building, which should be the little brick one, in 1961. That is a pretty old space there. It's very neat. I did also find out that the owner of the pop property directly behind it plans to build a large-scale gun range. That's pretty much all the information you're going to find on it, but it, it's very, very interesting to me, and I thought maybe you guys would be interested in some of the history, too. Community Covenant Church. Um, I don't know where we're at, but perhaps they do have a .com. Let's see if I can get closer, and I can look up some more information on this church and tell you all about it. CommunityCovenantNC.com. So we'll check that out. But there, I just noticed there is a little graveyard across from it. Ah, I see a crypt. Let's go have a look. I'm going to tell hubby what I'm doing, then I'm going to go over there and have a look. So over there is just across from the school. Some, a uh, church rather. Some people tell me to use a stabilizer, but I actually don't have the ability yet. And that's zoomed in, so it's very hard to hold it steady. Let's see what the name of this church is real fast. Let's carefully cross the street. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a super busy road. I am out in the country, but I have seen vehicles kind of flying through here. So, yeah. That's kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that before. Oh, no. Don't step over. <laughs> wow. That's huge. It's almost like they took a queen-size bed with them. <laughs> it's a terrible joke. It wasn't even a good one. Let's see if we can get a little closer. As always, the pictures will be posted at the end of this video if you're interested in photographs from this. Let's see. We don't really see these a whole lot in North Carolina. I know like in Louisiana they see the, the slightly above ground things. But here we really don't. Not too often, anyway, unless they're much older. It's so bright out here. I don't know if y'all can even see that.
This is a little guy for girl. I don't really know. Oh, oh well, forty five to forty five. It's a baby. Some of these are very old. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that before. Mm -hmm. The big thing. Seventy-two. There's only one date on that, so that's probably somebody still alive. I hope. Nineteen ten to nineteen ninety. Eighty good years, I hope. This is right beautiful. There are some very older ones in here. Uh, probably should have cut that off and took the keys out there. Well, I hope not, because I really kinda like it. 1902 to 1923. I hope not. Really? Some of them are definitely older. I can't even make out the names and stuff on them. It is a beautiful place out here, though. Oh, that's not good. Watch where you're going, big dummy. I was talking to myself, sir. Eighteen eighty-five. My goodness. So that church is definitely, definitely a much older building. Wow. I think how people did that back then. I assume time got to this one, but you never know. But since most of them are standing, I assume that time is what's caused some of these to break. I hate that. The camera is so blurred out right now. It's so bright in some areas. I've definitely got to start looking down in these places. These little stones ain't no joke. I don't even look down at home. I swear my dog's going to be the reason I, I end up in one of these places. You know how many times a day I trip over Jake and say, oops. Huh? Hmm. It's like part of a pot, though. Wow. I think that's what that is. It's like a round ceramic pot that somebody's used as headstones. Not positive. That's just kind of how they look. Yeah, I see it. This is probably the wildest thing I've seen in a cemetery. So I did not intend this to be a cemetery explorer today, but, I mean, if you find some aged graves, 1883 to 1918, I see the little marker, honey. 1812, oh, 1912, I'm sorry, 1892 to 1912. 1844 to 1908. Is it an O? I think it's an O. Oh, my goodness. Huh. It's just a little bit of mold and muck, honey. It'll be fine.
Gonna check out the one standing center here. Well, not really the center, but. Oh, sweet baby. Another one. A lot of Smiths and Jones in here. Very common name though. This is beautiful. Eight. <laughs> Elwood Smith, 1884 to 1911. Amara Smith, others too, 1849 to 1906. Okay, I see the footstones right there. So there's only two in this large area? Okay, there must be names on the other side of it too then. All right, I think we're gonna get back in the vehicle and see what else we can find. But this is a beautiful place out here. They're really lovely. Hubby's right, there are names on all four sides. And, except for the back, so three sides then. Sorry, beautiful day. Well, if you gotta be laid to rest, a nice place like this ain't bad. I found the cemetery registry online, and it might seem a little crass, but I just wanna know if anybody cares to guess the date of the oldest grave known to be in the cemetery. As far as I can tell, there is 163 people known to be buried there, and here's a hint. The cemetery seems to be much older than the church is currently standing there. So guys, we drove through this area just a minute ago. It's neat looking. It's kind of creepy, this old little bridge here. Um, and we have some much older, but it's just they've redid all the bridges lately, so I guess this one just looks really old. I think this is like either a water treatment or sewerage treatment place. I need to look it up. Now that I know what road I'm on, it's got a pretty uh, river, a uh, creek here. We call it Lake, Man Bay Lake. Pond. Pond, yeah. It's, uh, it's quite neat out here. This, look, this road is lined with old churches, and there's an old town that looks abandoned. We're going to stop in the center of it and have a look around here in just a second. There I am. <laughs> so, everything I think I've recorded the church, the graveyard, and all that. Um, as I, in Davy County, I said we were in Iredale, but we had just crossed into Iredale. I didn't realize that. So this is actually a little part of Davy County that I've never seen before. Love that old barn. There's an old house right over here that I just kind of saw. I think it's kind of cool looking. Wait for that to pass. Take a couple snapshots of it. Y'all know I totally would have painted those doors blue, right? It's almost like I own that place. <laughs> not really. Check that out. I'm not going to get too close again. I'm sure this is private property, but uh, I think it's neat looking. So let's go check it out after we take a couple pictures. I'm going to stay in this little, it's kind of got gravelly grass, we'll call it that. But it's well maintained, so we're going to stay on the maintained area. That and while I'm pretty sure that's abandoned, I cannot be positive. Some people, this road here is lined with everything from single wides to historic homes to um, fancy $500,000 houses. Standing right there in this building. Ah, there's my minivan. So glad to have that AC. There's another house on the other side of this too, I think. I'm going to pause this for a minute so y'all don't have to walk with me and be shook to death. Well, this seems to be an old furniture store. It's still got lamps in it. There's a bed frame, other stuff. It might be just like a storage area for a storage unit or for a furniture store or just an abandoned furniture store. Who the hell knows? Let's get a little closer. I might not get in trouble for it. Space heaters. Those do not look new aged. Dust, a thick layer of dust on all this furniture. I 
I think this used to be a furniture store. It's quite, still got quite a bit of stuff in it. Don't know what all y'all can see. Oh yeah, y'all can see pretty good in there. So let's go to the other side. I hope nobody calls the cops on me. <laughs> That's always the danger of this. Somebody could call the cops on you. This side seems to be a different building. Let's see. Oh, no, there's still more furniture. Ah, something touched me. Something touched me. Run. I did not break this, but let's use it to our advantage. Now, these it's not super old furniture. It's very crappy made wood furniture. Oh, the smell coming from in there. It's not like a decaying smell or anything, so don't freak out on me, but it's like um, old wood. It just smells like old wood. Oh, there we go. JT furniture and upholstery. Huh. There's the old house. Wow. Wow. Okay. I didn't touch it. I didn't break it. Huh. Oh, stepping in grass. Hold on. I'm trying to see what I can see. That's it. Was the house part of it? Now again, guys, if you have great eyesight, remember to check this stuff. Uh, these photos at the end because like you see people upload videos and photos like this all the time and you never know somebody will be like hey what's that looking at you through that window hopefully nothing but <laughs> um, it is always interesting we're going to try to avoid any kind of copperheads or critters I can't see around this wall here it seems like there's a building here that's fallen in and on the other side there was a house like right I imagine whoever owned this property and owned these buildings actually owned that house that's fallen in and this other building that's fallen in. But there is like a house that's sandwiched in right down in between this little area here. They can't get too close to it. And when you know it today. <laughs> I wasn't actually planning on stopping anywhere because we did a nice little explore of a little area yesterday. But... Anyway, that's this area. Again, we're still in Davie County on Shelby Road. Neat. All right, so J.T. Smith Furniture Company was on, owned by a man named John T. Smith. He seemed to have opened it May 17th, 19, um, yeah, 1978. I thought it said 18 for a second there. Um, definitely didn't look like that old, old of a building. And it seems to have closed around 2000 or 2001. Um, with the furniture that was in there, I was going to say late 90s, early 2000s. And since all the furniture is still left inside, it doesn't look like anything's been really touched much. I would guess to say he probably passed away with no people to take it over. Well, there's somebody staring at me for another porch, but I thought that was a cool old house. Ain't that neat looking. So, I stopped and talked to the man that was out on the other porch. His daddy owned this house for almost 80 years. The people that owned it before him actually grew tobacco and were sharecroppers so that's kind of neat and he said he cleaned up around the house a little bit so you can kind of walk around towards the edge of it um it's, it's good news that he won't call the cops on me and this is so neat i love being able to get close to one without getting in trouble <laughs> and again i'm not gonna step up on the porch because he told me that the porch is very very bad condition of course the whole house is he said it's been abandoned for about 15 years or so. That's a lot of... But if your father's up in the ages, he's not going to be able to take care of it either while he's here. So. This is gorgeous. I love that we can get a closer look at it. Now the video camera thing, he probably thinks it's crazy. We're going to walk around the side too. And he said that there's a couple of wild cats that live up underneath here. Maybe I'm too close, but if I get any further back, I'm in high grass, and I don't want to do that either. It's got a bunch of old wood. I guess it's the wood that fell off of it. I'm not real sure, though. Wow. So, again, we're not going on nothing because you can tell this whole house is going in, but 
The roof actually looks pretty stable. Part of it. <laughs> Not this part, obviously. Wow. Oh, something's touching me. Grass. We're good. Grass. Talk about being a chicken. Oh, I miss old screen porches. We used to have one. Screened indoors, you know. So yeah, he keeps it cleaned up and part of it anyway, pretty well. Let's see if we can get a couple pictures back here. I recommended to my hubby to stay in the car because it, you know a couple might be threatening, and I didn't want to appear that way. Wow. This is actually a pretty good trick to keep people away from an old house because if it's cleaned up right around it and people see all the old grass, high grass, they don't mess with it. Well, that's probably pretty old right there. And that's a well under there. That is so neat. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to look at this. It's beautiful. I know a lot of people don't see beauty in things like this, but the history and everything, it's great. I know that his father lived in this house for about eight years. Can you imagine? Well, we're going to thank this fella and head on on our way. But it's super cool to see. I love it. All right, so that's all I got for you today. What did you think? Please leave a comment below. Let me know um, if you're from this area, what have you seen that's really neat that I should go check out? I am definitely curious. I love this. So like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, blah, blah, blah. On to the next one, y'all.